नमस्कार मेरा नाम है रागिनी खन्ना टाइम्स अपलॉड लीडर स्टॉक उन लोगों की कहानी है जो रियल हीरोज हैं ये वो रियल हीरोज हैं जो दुनिया के अलग अलग क्षेत्रों से आते हैं इनमें वो लोग शामिल हैं जो हैं एक्टर्स फाउंडर्स बिजनेसमैन सीईओ ऑन्ट्रप्रनर्स और स्पिरिचुअल गुरुज जैसे लोगों की संघर्ष से लेके सफल होने तक की कहानी तो आइए जुड़िए हमारे साथ लीडर्स टॉक पर हम सुनना चाहते हैं आपकी कहानी so tell me what challenges you faced as a young entrepreneur and how did you overcome them i faced one challenge which was very tough but i did it easily people never believed that i could teach because they thought you are so small how are you going to teach my elder kids because there were some kids who were elder than me and then when i started teaching i faced them no one believed me I was free that time but still with the consistency and with my hard work I kept on doing it kept on doing it and now they were the first ones to say can you teach us Naisa Doshi is a 7 year old girl who is an author entrepreneur and a hula hoop instructor she loves to read books and travel additionally she enjoys spending time with nature and a family hi naisa welcome to our show it's called leader talk tell me something about you my name is naisa doshi i'm an entrepreneur hula hoop instructor and i'm a owner of naisa holadics what are your hobbies my hobbies are i love reading books and i love writing stories in my free time and i also love opening a world to a imaginative place and i love traveling Okay and tell me something about your journey. My journey is I have I love doing hula hoop and when I started I faced some challenges but I easily kept on doing it and I solved all of the problems. What were your problems? The only one was there which was very tough to follow but I easily did it. People did not believe that I could teach hula hoop because I was very small. But when I started teaching, they loved my classes, and now they all they come to my classes to learn. That's, that's applaud worthy. Well done. What inspired you to start your own business? My self inspired me because when I was five years old, after making the world record of fastest hula hoop spins, I one of my friends said, mom said, that Naisa, you teach, you do so. like nice hula hoop i should learn from you even so from that day i thought can i actually teach so then that inspired me that i could teach so now i started teaching and now i have more than 250 students wow so how do you manage it with school i manage it because if you have time if you really want to do something and you really like that thing then you have time for everything but if you really don't want to do something there's no time time goes like seconds if you don't want to do it but if you really want to do it time is there for everything and you're so wise for a 7 year old girl and it's so refreshing and so beautiful to hear what inspired you to start your own business my uh, self again because when i was 5 making world record my friends mom said again i want i want to learn from you and i and you should teach you make me make a business like what how this is your passion hula hoop is something you love to do and the world loved watching you and you were honored but to convert your passion into something which is a business venture you know you that needs a real real brain behind that so tell me what challenges you faced as a young entrepreneur and how did you overcome them i faced one challenge which was very tough but i did it easily people never believed that i could teach because they thought you are so small how are you going to teach my elder kids because there were some kids who were elder than me and then when i started teaching i faced them no one believed me i was free that time but still with the consistency and with my hard work i kept on doing it kept on doing it and now they were the first ones to say can you teach us but after kids? a world record people didn't have faith in you yes because when i was very small small in terms of young 
how do you balance your school and business together time with great time management of course but uh, with 250 students and so much academic work so how do you tell tell you have a lot of young fans out there so tell them how do you do time management with school and business i do school in morning and in the evening time i don't go home i don't waste seconds i everyone goes home i work hard because i don't feel tired because i really love to do it by heart so i never feel that tiredness after school and school is also my favorite place after school i work hard teach i come late night i sleep late night how late how late at night that depends upon how i reach home and i never get tired that's how i manage my school and time so one suggestion can i give you being a little senior to you because even i'm working since i was very very young and very very little myself no matter what how much passion you have how much of work you want to do always your priority needs to be your health yourself right so if you're feeling very happy you can make everybody happy if you're functioning at 100% you will inspire everybody for you to be in the best of health you need minimum especially at this age 8 hours of sleep four regulated meals and also rest naps in between i do take naps in my car yes great passion great hard work but it requires a lot of discipline okay so channelize your discipline love everything you do you're too beautiful and i wish you all the best but now tell me you also write stories yes okay so how did you discover your passion of storytelling you're a great speaker so now tell me how did you discover that passion of yours because whenever i used to make uh, stories with my toys because i didn't know that but whenever i used to make one question used to every time come in my mind why am i doing this why am i wasting my talent these two questions kept on coming kept on coming then one day i got a solution that maybe i can write it on a piece of paper show it to my parents maybe they can do something with it and then i kept on writing it on a piece of paper and then i showed it to my parents they loved it slowly slowly we published it and with the same method i kept on doing it and now i have wrote three books first one is power of practice second one is cute stories with mara and third one is the zooming rocket that's fantastic to hear and now tell me what advice do you want to give other children i want to give only one advice which is you have to keep working hard keep that consistency keep that passion that you can do it and never feel that if they are saying wrong about you never get disobeyed and say that i cannot do it if they are actually saying maybe they are right you should always believe what your heart and mind says so never believe whatever other people say just keep doing it keep doing it and then you will become very special you're very very special my darling but also remember all work and no play makes jack a dull boy so with all this work you also need to have some sort of play and some sort of fun i have lots of play you have at right at sundays i only take morning batches and evening i have fun you have fun so you have a very very good a very systematic and a very planned upbringing and kudos to your parents for bringing you till here and i only wish you well my sweetheart and i want to give, share a memento with you so that's a memory for us that we had this conversation on leaders talk thank you you're most well naisa will you please show us some of your tricks on the hula hoop yes thank you
सो दिस इज नाइसा वर्जन ऑफ शोइंग आस द सुदर्शन चक्र हुला हूप नाइसा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हैविंग दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन विद आस वी रियली हैड अ गुड टाइम यू जेनुअली इंस्पायर्ड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन एंड आई एम श्योर आई एम वन ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन हुज जेनुअली इंस्पायर्ड बाई यू सो थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग ऑन अ शो एंड दैट्स मी रागिनी खाना साइनिंग ऑफ फ्रॉम लीडर स्टॉक थैंक यू थैंक यू मच दी डॉट